Kenya enjoys abundant sunshine throughout the year with 5 to 7 hours of intense sunlight daily. This makes solar power not only viable but one of the smartest energy choices available. In Nairobi and other urban areas with Kenya power access, grid-tied solar systems have surged in popularity. They offer an affordable, efficient, and eco-friendly solution. But what exactly is a grid-tied system? How does it work? And what's the cost? Let's break it all down. How grid-tied systems work? A grid-tied solar system connects to the national electricity grid, allowing your home to receive power from both your solar panels and Kenya Power. Here's how it works. Number one, the solar panels capture sunlight. The panels on your roof convert sunlight into direct current or DC electricity. Number two, the inverter converts power. A grid tie inverter transforms this DC power into alternating current or AC that your household appliances can use. Number three, powering your home. This converted electricity flows to your home fast. When your panels produce more than you need, the excess automatically feeds back into the national grid. Number four, nighttime or cloudy days, no worries. You simply draw electricity from the grid as usual. And number five, net metering. Kenya's net metering policy gives you credits for excess power sent to the grid, reducing your electricity bill. Think of it as having a solar helper that saves you money on sunny days, while the national grid provides backup when sunshine is scarce. Key components of a grid tied system. To build a basic grid tied system in Kenya, you'll need number one, solar panels, the main power generators that convert sunlight into electricity. Number two, you'll need the grid tie inverter, which transforms solar power into household electricity. Number three, you'll need mounting structures that firmly attaches the panels to your roof. Number four, you'll need wiring and safety switches that ensures safe power flow and system protection. And number five, you'll need the bi-directional meter, which tracks both your power consumption and contribution to the grid. Since batteries aren't required, this makes grid-tied systems more cost-effective. What about power outages? Here's the catch. Most grid-tied systems do not work during blackouts. Why? For safety. If your system keeps sending power to the grid during an outage, it could endanger KPLC technicians working on repairs. To have power during outages, you'll need a hybrid system with battery storage, but that comes with a higher cost. And if you'd like to learn more about hybrid systems, there's a link down in the description that will take you to that video. How much does it cost in Kenya? Let's break down the costs. The price of a grid-tied system varies based on your energy needs and system size. Finding the prices proved a difficult task as I was researching about grid-tied systems. I did find some prices, but they may not be accurate. So please take your time and do your research as you shop around. A 1.5 kilowatt system has an approximate cost of around 100,000 shillings, give and take. A 3 kilowatt system has an approximate cost of around 300,000 shillings, give and take. A 5 kilowatt system has an approximate cost of around 400,000 shillings. And a 10 kilowatt system has an approximate cost of around 700,000 shillings, give and take. Inverter costs typically range from 50,000 shillings and above for a 3 kilowatt unit to 400,000 shillings plus for commercial grid setups. Most homes need 3 kilowatts to 5 kilowatts 
setups. Installation costs typically add 10 to 20% to the total system cost, depending on your roof type and installation complexity. Permits and approvals from KPLC require small application or inspection fees, so check with your installer for current rates. Monthly savings and payback period. On average, Nairobi households spend around 2,000 to 10,000 shillings on electricity monthly. A properly sized grid tied system can reduce this by 50 to 70%. For example, if you spend 7,000 shillings per month and your system saves you 5,000 shillings monthly, you'll save 60,000 shillings a year. A 3 kilowatt system of around 300,000 shillings can pay for itself in as little as 5 to 6 years, sometimes even faster when combined with net metering. Pros of grid tied systems Number one, lower upfront costs because no batteries are needed. Number two, significant savings on power bills. Number three, net metering lets you earn from extra power. Number four, easy to maintain. And number five, environmentally friendly. Considerations before you buy Number one, you'll need KPLC approval to connect to the grid. Number two, Power outages will still affect you unless you invest in backup options. And number three, net metering credits are 50% of the electricity buying rate. You won't earn full value back. Still, for most homeowners in or around urban areas in Kenya, a grid-tied solar system is the most affordable and efficient way to go solar, especially if you're looking to cut bills without the cost of battery storage. So the final advice to first time buyers, number one, do an energy audit. Know how much power you use monthly. Number two, talk to licensed solar installers approved by EPRA. Thirdly, choose high quality panels and inverters. And fourthly, check if your roof gets enough sunlight. Avoid shaded areas. And number five, ask your installer about the net metering process. To learn more about off-grid and hybrid solar systems, watch either video up next. I'll see you there.